These days, Charlie Sheen doesn't seem to have a permanent address as he's reportedly been living in a Malibu rental home. Prior to this, the actor was said to be living in an apartment in the same area and even shacking up with his parents for a brief time. His current house in Malibu has some stunning features and does cost upwards of $16,000 per month to live in. However, it's a lot more modest than some of his former mansions. Back in 2017, Charlie actually sold his longtime LA hideaway in the Mulholland Estates neighborhood and another house in the same area to a member of the Kardashian-Jenner family, who since completely reimagined the property. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Charlie Sheen is an actor who appeared in a handful of films, especially in the late 80s and 90s, including Platoon, The Rookie, and more. Most notably, perhaps, was his role as Charlie Harper on the CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men from 2003 to 2011, which was a massive success, as well as starring in the FX series Anger Management for a couple of years. In 2010, Charlie was dubbed the highest paid actor on TV, earning a whopping $1.8 million per episode of Two and a Half Men. So why is Charlie living in modest rental homes these days? Well, since then, things have drastically changed for the actor. Over the years, Charlie's personal life has made headlines time and time again, whether it was about his alcohol and drug use or marriage issues, even allegations of domestic violence. In 2011, his contract for Two and a Half Men was terminated by the network after he made derogatory comments about the show's creator, Chuck Lorre. Then in 2015, Charlie revealed he was HIV positive and had known about this for four years, resulting in not only the Charlie Sheen effect, aka the huge upswing of online searches for HIV prevention, but also to lawsuits from some of the actor's ex-partners, who claimed that he exposed them to the disease without their knowledge. We could go on and on about Charlie's drama behind the scenes, but today we'll be focusing more on the places that he's called home. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the properties of Charlie Sheen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Since I'm sure you're all curious, let's check out Charlie Sheen's current living situation. It would appear that right now the actor doesn't have a permanent residence and has been living in a string of rentals in the Los Angeles area, specifically in Malibu. While he seems to have settled into a cute and modest rental home, at least for the time being, it's a definite improvement from his living quarters before. In fact, at one point, it was said that Charlie had to shack up with his elderly parents. Despite being a Hollywood star, a source explained in early 2021 that Charlie was living week to week after his scandals turned his career limp. The source added, he has sold all his property in Beverly Hills, he can't meet his child support obligations. Whether or not that was true, Sheen does have five children, which would be a lot of money. But back to his homes. After Charlie had to offload his famed estate in Mulholland Estates, which we're gonna check out in just a moment, he had to briefly move in with his parents in Malibu. It was also revealed that after this, the actor moved into the Paradise Cove Mobile Home Park, which some big name celebrities have called home in the past, including the likes of Pamela Anderson, Minnie Driver, and Matthew McConaughey. In fact, Paradise Cove was dubbed America's most glamorous trailer park by the New York Times. Despite being a mobile home park, it's a sought-after location overlooking the Pacific Ocean on the bluffs. It offers ocean views, beach access, and community. All mobile homes here also have direct access to Point Doom's private beaches. That same source talked about Charlie living here too, adding, Charlie used to have his trailer from two and a half men parked down the street from him at Mulholland Estates. But when he sold his mansion, he moved it to Paradise Cove, but couldn't stand living there. And so it was time to move again. Charlie had moved into a humble sized Malibu apartment, which he also allegedly wasn't a fan of. There was no pool, no yard, and no staff to tend to his needs. Most recently in 2022, it was revealed that Charlie had found a new rental home in Malibu. And while it's modest by the actor's former standards, I'm sure that it's a step above his recent living situations. Charlie was said to have been renting out the home since June of this year for about $16,350 per month. 
The house is tucked on a hill in the coastal city and offers amazing views of the ocean, while exteriors are painted a muted gray with a white deck and driveway framed by red brick walls and posts. In fact, the entire rental home offers up deck space all over to look out at the water and the sunsets. Second level living areas connect directly to balconies via large glass doors which also flood the abode with light and underneath the balconies you'll discover a cozy outdoor dining area on a brick patio that's made private with a fence. Moving inside, Charlie's home has a spacious kitchen that mixes classic and modern elements with white cabinets and updated sleek stainless steel appliances, including perks like a large gas range and double ovens. There's also an island-like bar with casual seating, while the open space has a more formal dining table beside a fireplace with white mantle. The main living room has another fireplace and opens to the deck and is also full of windows, while most of these common spaces have hardwood floors underfoot. The room boasts another less fancy fireplace along with a queen sleeper sofa sitting area. Most bedrooms in the home are a good size with windows of their own and there's a total of four while Charlie's master suite has its own bathroom and more privacy. His ensuite bath has dual sinks, long white cabinets and a glass shower with a separate tub. A definite perk of this home is the swimming pool in the backyard which is surrounded by more red brick and complemented with several fountains pouring into the water. If you prefer the ocean, you can also easily walk down to the the beach from the property. Other features of the backyard include several strands of string lights for a nice ambiance, a small square hot tub off the pool, a grilling area and a pool table. Across from the grill you'll find an outdoor sitting area and a built-in fire pit. Finally at the front of the home there's a long balcony that opens up to one of the bedrooms as well as a living area and up there there's a second fire pit making for another inviting outdoor space to unwind. Well, let's compare and check out Charlie's former living quarters. In 2016, it was reported that the actor had sold the second of three epic homes he owned in the guard-gated Mulholland Estates area of Los Angeles in the mountains of Beverly Hills. This one Sheen bought in 2012 for $4.8 million and sold it for $5.4 million. This fact wasn't revealed at the time, but we now know that shortly after the house was taken off of Charlie's hands, the next buyer, only a year later in 2017, would be Kendall Jenner. Miss Jenner still owns the property to this day and proceeded to give the mansion a total makeover. This home spans 6,625 square feet of space with five beds and 4.5 baths throughout, and it was a split-level residence designed in a warm Spanish style. Interiors here offered high ceilings with gorgeous wood beams running across, rounded archways separating the open living spaces, and terracotta tiling underfoot. The front of the property boasted a gated and tree-sheeted courtyard with a fountain and more terracotta tiling, which then led guests into the oversized entryway. From there, you'd find the step-down formal living room with stone columns and double-height fireplace on one wall. Other common rooms included a formal dining space with mirrored wall panels and doors out to the yard, a kitchen with large center island and upscale appliances, an office with built-in bookshelves and corner fireplace, and a family room that's attached to the kitchen. Elsewhere, aside from all of the plush bed Rooms, there was even a screening room with wood beam ceilings. In the backyard, there were sprawling terraces, a grilling station, fire pits, and of course, a swimming pool and spa. These days being occupied by Kendall Jenner, the home looks nearly unrecognizable. Considering that house was said to have been occupied by one of Charlie's exes, Brooke Mueller, he more frequently lived in another one of his homes in the exact same neighborhood. This other Mulholland Estates property was listed by Sheen in 2018 for $9.9 million, and it offered seven bedrooms and seven baths within its 8,932 square feet of space. The mansion had plenty of luxury features, including two pools, an epic gazebo with its own bar, and a home theater with red velvet drapes. More practical spaces inside the large home were available as well, such as a fully stocked and high-end kitchen and a canopy dining room. Also in this abode, Charlie had a master suite with a dumb waiter to retrieve snacks or drinks from the kitchen and a wet bar complete with bar stools, neon signs, and a cigarette machine. Aside from all the party rooms, there was a children's room with the universe painted on the ceiling, a room that was transformed into a gym and a games room. Records show that Sheen purchased the home in 2006 for $7.5 $2 million dollars and while living here he married and divorced his third wife Brooke and hosted a handful of other live-in girlfriends including his quote-unquote goddesses. 
Charlie was also living here when he had his public drama with Two and a Half Men creator Chuck Lore, and his stint on the show was ended. Well, now we've gotten a taste of a handful of Charlie Sheen's properties, and we can see how much life has changed for the actor since he let it all hang out. Maybe soon he'll find more of a permanent residence in Malibu. But for now, that's gonna conclude this house tour. Let me know what you thought of Charlie's homes and life update in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.